Configuring Project-Based Preemption with License Scheduler and Smart Suspend. In the case that you have License Scheduler installed alongside LSF, you will now have the option for License Scheduler Project-Based Preemption as opposed to Queue-Based Preemption. To enable this, we need to make some changes to the lsf.licenseScheduler configuration file. We need to add a list of the features that we would like suspended, define the project ownership, here Project 1 owns all four license tokens, as well as set preempt reserve to yes. This enables License Scheduler to preempt this license. Next we need to tell License Scheduler where the license server is that serves this license feature. Lastly, we need to define project priority. Here, Project 1 has a higher priority than Project 2. Next, we need to make a change to the lsf.comp file. These first two license scheduler options at the top should be enabled. The second option, tells License Scheduler that it has the ability to preempt an LSF job based on license priority. Also, the first option tells License Scheduler to use the configured job controls. Now let's have a look at the lsb.qs file. Here we can see the job controls that License Scheduler will use to suspend and resume the job. These jobs controls are defined specifically for Smart Suspend. Now let's go ahead and reconfigure the cluster. Project-based preemption demo with license scheduler and smart suspend. To demonstrate license scheduler project-based preemption, the first thing we're going to do is launch a job to project 2. In this case, we'll use a low PQ but it really doesn't matter since it will be License Scheduler and not LSF that will be doing the preemption. For this job, we'll be requesting all four feature test licenses. And since we've configured LSF to share equally between Project 1 and Project 2, we'll be allowed to start. Now that the first job is running and consuming resources, we'll go ahead and launch a second job, but this time assign it to Project 1. Since Project 1 owns all four licenses, License Scheduler will suspend the first job and allow this second job to run. Since Smart Suspend releases the licenses immediately during suspension, the second job can take advantage of those licenses as soon as it begins execution. Now let's take a closer look at the first job. We can see that the suspension was initiated by License Scheduler itself. Now we'll go ahead and kill the second job. License Scheduler will now resume the first job. Configuring slot or queue based preemption with license scheduler and smart suspend. The other method for suspension is queue based priority suspension. In this model, license scheduler keeps track of the license count and LSF is responsible for suspending and resuming the processes based on queue priority. 
Configuration is very similar to project-based suspension. All license features need to be listed in the LSF.License Scheduler configuration file. What's different comes in the LSB.params configuration file. All the license features that LSF should be able to suspend should be listed as preemptible resources. Now if we take a look at the LSB.Qs file, we can see that we have two queues, a high priority and low priority queue. The low priority queue can be suspended by higher priority workloads. Slot or queue based preemption demo with License Scheduler and Smart Suspend. For this demonstration, we're going to start by launching a low priority job. The job is requesting all four license features. The License Scheduler project doesn't make a difference in this case because LSF will be performing the suspension. If you look on the right hand side, you can see that all four license features have been reserved. Now let's go ahead and submit a high priority job. Again we'll request all four license features. With the license feature being listed as a preemptable resource and Smart Suspend handling the preempt operation, LSF can suspend the lower priority job and immediately release its resources for use by the higher priority job. It can also communicate this action to License Scheduler to update its license totals. Now we can see that the lower priority job has been successfully suspended. Its memory, CPU, and license resources return to the operating system. The high priority job can now make use of these licenses. Let's take a closer look at the low priority job. We can see that LSF is responsible for the preemption. Let's go ahead and kill the high priority job. LSF will now automatically resume the low priority job. If we take a look at the low priority job history, we can see that once again LSF is responsible for the resumption operation. The license feature is reacquired after the first heartbeat. This can sometimes take a couple of minutes.